It's going to be a fun show today on the Express. We're painting our nails and the town red. On today's show. Put it all into a bag. And what we're going to do is individually take items out of it. West Coast style. Closet clean out do's and don'ts. I think it's time to say... Bye, blue sparkly pants. <laughs> Ah, okay, that kind of... <laughs> Rare investment, the good life. Shannon has success secret. I have a horse named Louie. I've had him almost half my life, actually. Can I get a tall, skinny, half-sweet, no foam, extra hot caramel macchiato? Okay, so tall. Scrot Shaw Community College's higher learning is barista bound. What's the first drink I get to make? Let's go, you guys. Final set. Get her done. The Sierra Sill Giants Report. Training to make the team. My future goal is my big goal is hockey. I'd obviously make an NHL one day. See that and more local expression. Welcome to the Express Only on Sha TV. I'm Johanna Ward. Since our first story on today's show is super swanky to the max, we decided to go in for a little pampering here at Pure Nail Bar in Port Moody as we sit back and relax to take a tour of a $5.5 million dream home in the Bayview area of South Surrey. I don't even think my nails are up for it. Today we're going 45 minutes south of downtown Vancouver to the picturesque community of White Rock, South Surrey. Here land values are significantly more affordable than the inner city, which means a few million dollars will put you in the lap of luxury. I'm talking about seven bedroom mansions built to order. You gotta see it to believe it. Tim! Nice to see you again. Welcome to South Surrey. I didn't know there were such luxurious homes out here. What you're about to experience here is a custom designed home, custom built uh, on an acre in Bayview and I'm looking forward to showing it to you. So come on in. Let's go. It's evident the second you step inside, this 11,000 square foot home blends modern design and old world elegance to create a simply surreal visual experience. This is a rare find. A lot of the materials were brought in specifically for this house. Uh, the Tuscan living room, as you can see, is uh, unique in every way. Thanks to the large fireplace, Tuscan-style columns, and vaulted barrel ceiling that you won't find anywhere else. Definitely a feature that, uh, that makes the room. After a stroll through the spectacular main hallway with its row of 10 custom light fixtures, we arrive at the absolutely grandiose kitchen. Uh, the kitchen is a, uh, a gourmet chef's delight. It's got an oversized island. It's got the top and appliances throughout. Uh, definitely enough elbow room for five or six chefs to be operating all at the same time. The European theme extends here to the gas cooktop area, which was intricately handcrafted using stone and tile. On the other end of the room is the family room with its large flat screen TV anchored to a custom built wall unit. The concept, sleek yet practical design. It, uh, it's definitely a very, very warm, well thought out design space for sure. Next we go up the winding suspended staircase and into the master suite. Wow. Check this out Tim. Amazing. Have you ever been to Vegas? I have. Well, you'd be hard pressed to find the uh, presidential suite which would come anywhere close to this. Nice fireplace right here, gives it that cozy feel. Beautiful sitting area in front of the uh, fireplace for your tea or a glass of wine after a hard day and uh, of course a, a presidential style bed. Speaking of presidential, how about this for a closet, specifically designed for the style-savvy executive with enough space to justify any shopping spree. But the piece de resistance is here in the ensuite, where the stresses of the world just melt away as soon as you walk in. They haven't missed a thing in the ensuite, from the oversized shower with the multiple shower heads to the uh, pedestal soaker tub the dual vanities, the very simple lines, very earth tone, uh, color scheme throughout. 
It's very, very easy to spend time there. You feel like you're in a spa. And when bedroom after bedroom after bedroom boasts the same stellar quality, it's not hard to see why this is the quintessential Canadian dream home. I'm your host, Tim Chung, here in South Surrey, and join me next time on Dream Homes. Wow, the price tag on that home again, five and a half million dollars. Wow. I know, that's unbelievable. It also has a small theater and a bar. Well, you can put a price tag on property, but you can't put a price tag on experience. Up next on the Sierra Sill Giants Report, we're training with the next generation of WHL and NHL players at the Delta Hockey Academy. I hope nobody breaks a nail. The Giants Report is presented by Sierra Sill Joint Formula 14. Sierra Sill Joint Formula 14, health you can feel. We just do drills and shooting drills, passing drills, like stick handling drills, just to get better. If you want to make it to the WHL, you have to put in the time on and off the ice. Let's go, you guys. Final set. Get her done. We uh, started a program for young developing athletes who were in need of more skill development. This is South Delta Hockey Academy. These players get access to the Giants coaching staff to help with their development access to you know elite coaching and uh, experts in the field and that's one of the things that we offer here is you know access to the Don Hayes and dryland training which which I try to provide. Good job Brandon. Darian good job. That's huge because all you see is part of the staff and every, everything he says or hints is clues about making that team so I make sure I listen carefully whatever he says. Camps like this one also give WHL hopefuls the chance to skate alongside Giants players who aren't on the road with the team because they're injured. Dalton Swords here today, so it's good to see some of the guys. It's good to see the skill level and you know what what their level at, and that's where we want to be in a few years. Three sets, then you're all done. Come on. There's no doubt these players who range from grade eight to twelve work hard. Well, I usually do like six or seven skates a week, including games. And they're highly motivated. Well, hopefully I want to get to the next level next year in the WHL. My like, future goal is my big goal is hockey. I'd obviously make the NHL one day, and yeah. Any particular team? Uh, no teams anywhere. In fact, Hockey Academy already has some impressive alumni. Colton's now uh, working his art with the Edmonton Oilers, and Brandon McMillan is down with the Anaheim Ducks. So get a good look at these players. Hockey Academy may be the first step to the road to the WHL and maybe even the NHL. I'm Bianca Salterbeck in Delta for The Express. The Giants Report was presented by Sierra Sill Joint Formula 14. Health you can feel. Ian Gallagher is Giants forward Brendan Gallagher's dad. And Brendan is having a great season. He just came back from the World Juniors. He's just been made captain of the Giants. So Ian's not only his coach, but he's a proud father as well. You're watching The Express. And coming up, we have a whole different kind of spa experience. One for the feet on Rare Investments, The Good Life, plus these stories. I will from now on order Americanos. <laughs> for my hands. Yes, please. Sleeve, always sleeve use a sleeve. Okay. At Bradshaw Community College's Higher Learning. Starbucks success. Oh, some ugly whipped cream. That's a fail. Um, you don't want to hang them uh, unless you're putting your nails West Coast on. style. Closet cleanouts, do's, and don'ts. Two times a year. Two times a year. <laughs> Two times. One for fall and winter and one, one for, for spring and summer. summer. You're watching local TV on The Express. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward.